Test, test, test. Hello, this is Steve Marinucci with Beatles News Briefs for October 4th, 2018. Um, most of today, there was obviously a lot of reaction to Jeff Hemmerich's passing, uh, surprise passing last night. It was weird how um, online when I started to write about it, um, a lot of people didn't believe it, uh, especially when his agent called him Sir Jeff um, but, uh, apparently there was, a, as he explained in the statement that he released, uh, apparently the two men, uh, had a very friendly relationship. So, um, but uh, anyway, um, there were several reactions that came in this morning, uh, of his passing. I'm not going to read them all. I've got quite a few of them here, but I will read a couple of them. Um, the Beatles posted our thoughts are with the family and friends of Jeff Emmerich, who has sadly passed Jeff's work as an audio engineer on their music was integral, resulting in multiple highly deserved Grammy Awards. Paul McCartney uh, posted on Twitter, uh, woke up this morning to the sad news of Jeff Emmerich's passing. He was a great engineer and friend, and even though the Beatles had many great engineers over the years, Jeff was the one, and he put one in capital capital letters. He was smart, fun-loving, and the genius behind many of the great sounds on our records. I worked with him after the Beatles, and it was always fun, and the sounds he managed to conjure up were always special. Having seen him earlier this year when he came around to our studio, I'm shocked and saddened to have lost such a special friend. God bless you, Jeffrey. Love, Paul. And then Ringo posted late, um, but he posted... Uh, I am so sorry and shocked to hear about Jeff Emmerich. He was a great engineer, very helpful to all of us in the studio. With him and George Martin, they helped us to step up on Revolver. He will be missed. Barbara and I send peace and our love to his family. Peace and love, Ringo. And Yoko um, also posted, I'm so shocked that Jeff Emmerich is no longer with us. He was the best engineer. Not only was he the best engineer, he was very kind. Love, Yoko. Um... I think the last one I'm going to read is Giles Martin. Uh, it said, R.I.P. Jeff Emmerich, one of the finest and most innovative engineers to have ever graced a recording studio. I grew up with him as he worked so much with my father. We have all been touched by the sounds he helped create on the greatest music ever recorded. There were lots of other tributes to um, Abbey Road Studios, Mark Lewison, Brian Ray, Ken Mansfield, uh, who was with Apple, uh, Julian Lennon, Neil Mullane Finn of Split Ends and Louise Goffin were some of the others that I saw. And I'm sure there have been many more since uh, um, this afternoon. But in any event, uh, a lot of people were really um, taken and uh, felt they needed to pay tribute to Jeff. And that's um, saying something. There's some other Beatle news, too. Um, uh, we have chart news for this week. Um, in its third week on the chart on the Billboard 200, um, McCartney's Egypt Station uh, dropped from number 8 to number 55, which is quite a drop. Um, but uh, in any event, um, Beatles 1 uh, is 177 down from 151, and Abbey Road is 194 down from 178. Um, we'll have some comments to say about the whole Lennon set um, later in the week before the before it's released, closer to the release date. But I just want to say that if you're thinking about not getting the Lennon DVD, um, I would suggest you rethink that because it's really a great companion to the whole set, uh, to the bigger set. Um, the Lennon Imagine film if you have if you are unaware is a basically a bunch of music videos of both John and Yoko um of songs by both of them um and um the um the second part of uh of the DVD give me some truth is uh, all uh in studio recording footage and there are a couple of um clips added to the double DVD uh, Blu-ray. Um, I wish there would have been more, but um, 
the charm of the, there's a there's a neat little charm there of the um of the album um seeing them work on it and you really get to see John and Yoko um as they are as they were um and it kind of goes along with what um with what um Elliot Mintz told me that they were basically um kind of common people and and one thing you notice about them um they they like to spoof the world uh, they kind of winked at, uh, winked their uh, you know everything was done with a wink and you can really kind of see that and it's it's really charming to see that and then um so anyway um but we'll say more about this uh, uh later in the week but uh, for now um that's about it um thanks for listening uh thanks to fab4radio.com for giving us um the space to to talk um thanks to uh everybody for uh picking us up tune in um uh Spotify will be on Spotify soon if we're not already um and we're looking to to move everywhere so um thanks for listening to us and we'll be talking to you soon